Alright, hello you crazy people out there, this is Dragonite Spam, and welcome back to Grey Fox. So, uh, we have done uh, Mabel's story and the nurse's story, and it is time to take care of the last uh, two story choices, and you can either be okay with it or you can hate it. And once again, as it doesn't matter what you go with, I'm going to just do them in the order that they show up on the screen, because I don't feel like scrolling through the list with the arrows. And, so we can go see for ourselves. and uh, if the story was already weird, it's, already, it's just going to get weirder. Uh, we are now an old guy with somewhat creepy music playing, and we're Mr. Brown. Let's see, we are a chipper today. Implying that we're not usually, I suppose. Uh, what is this? Is this food on the table? Let's go have a look at this food on the table. You there! Oh. Okay. Well, I guess you can do that later. Uh, you can go and talk to the people. And there's this one lady zipping around in the wheelchair. Go pick on somebody else. Okay, well, um, you can have fun with that. Yeah. Somebody's having a little bit too much fun with the wheelchair. Um, continuing on with, like, side quests slash theme achievements. In this shelf somewhere. Where is it? There is a cookie. And a dog cookie. So, it, it looks like we can't eat that. And I'm sure you won't mind if I just, like, take that dog cookie of yours, right? Well, she's not answering. Um, let's get out of here. And let's go and talk to some of these other people. I want to say you have to talk to every NPC in this uh, in this area uh, before you can advance the story again. But I'm not sure about that. So we're just going to go and do all of them. Because most of them have some very uh, entertaining dialogue. Alright, well, I have no idea what you're talking about. But you're playing, like, cards or flipping dominoes or something. I don't know. Um... Okay, I, I really don't want to go in there. I'm not sure why he's walking around without any clothes on. I'd imagine it's quite cold like that, but... Um, never mind. Mr. Brown, how long have you been standing there? Alright, Ethel. Ethel. Isn't that like a chemical family? Oh no, that's ethers. Uh, like the, like, item in a lot of RPGs that like restore, uh, magic and stuff. Or PowerPoint and Pokemon. Ethers, chemistry. Don't ask me why I thought of that. I must be uh, very much out of lack for actual commentary in this video. Alright, uh, we're trying to bathe an elderly old man, and we're not going to... Okay. Uh, she seems to have very little patience. And... I, I can see why, I suppose, if you have to deal with old people every day, but I'm not really... sure if, uh... this is the best job for you, if you're like that. And... Alright, that, that, um... what? Racist! No, I've never raced anybody. I only ran cross-country for four years, but I've never raced anybody. Imagine that, if you actually did that. If you somehow managed to, like, miss every single race in four years. Anyway, um, you're allowed to smoke inside. Apparently. And blow smoke in my face. And... Whatever. Enough of that. Uh, I believe somebody said something about our family being here to see us or something important-ish like that. You there. Alright, Mara's here to see you. Okay. Very nice! Hello. What do I usually call you? Alright, oh. So, very... polite. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so I think we can uh, more than infer that this old grumpy guy is... Uh, not the nicest old grumpy guy in Grey Fox. So... Let's see. Oddly cooperative. Alright, well... Hmm. Inheritance? Oh, money now. Because they're just expecting you to drop dead like any minute or something like that. Go to school. Pay it back. Yes, because you pay back inheritances. Alright, well, i pretty sure I haven't said anything, but apparently I said something wrong and uh, you're just gonna... Storm out of the room. Uh, that was very interesting. Kind of. Interesting, sure. Uh, let's go back to our room. I don't think there's anything else to do here. This, uh, this front door is gated off. And I don't think there's anything to do in here. Let's see. Hey, you! What do you want? Oh my god, that face. And old lady use slap on Mr. Brown. And everybody hates you. Oh, okay, it's super effective. Mr. Brown fainted. Enough of that. Well, uh, we can get up and we're suddenly in the same room, except it's not the same room. It's like the same room about 500 years later. 
And there's like cobwebs on the walls and stuff. Um, let's see, what is this? Wilted flowers, perfect. Alright, well we're sword, we're walking around at like half speed now. And cold, rotten food with insects crawling all over it. Let's, let's not look at that any longer than we have to. I'm very glad that they didn't, um, I'm, I'm suddenly very glad that the sprites for like food and stuff are not bigger. And the floor is magically disappearing. You can't fall off or die or anything, it's just like a wall. But, alright, enough of that. And a kid wants to be a lawyer, but you will have to pick another dream. Oh. Yes. Alright, well, that's nice of Grandpa. Let's see. If we walk up this way, a couple more uh, scenes will play out of people not liking Mr. Brown. Yes, old man, what did he do this time? He yelled at me. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, let's go and, uh, run up this way. And, oh, okay. Old woman. She sort of becomes successful and not fun and money and stuff. All right, yeah. I can always see how that will be a problem. You there! What have you done this time? You hated being old, and uh, people hate you. All right. <clears throat> well... It's quite the reputation. I have to agree. We all have a mean Mr. Brown in our lives. I have to say, I don't know all that many grumpy old people, and I know... Well, I won't say I know a lot of old people, but... Most... Um, all of the old people that I can, like, think of with, like, names, uh, really... are fairly nice. Anyway, did I just pick up the dagger and... Oh, oh, I think I killed Mr. Brown. Oops. Uh, sorry about that, sir. Anyway, the last story choice. We can go look at ourselves in the mirror, and after all that, uh, you can be okay with it. And, let's see, I guess so. I'm being sarcastic, of course. Uh, just in denial. Stuff like that. Too lazy to do anything. Let's see. Well, we're gonna have a look and uh, see exactly what she means. <clears throat> and I don't know why our character, our unnamed character, is uh, still asking, like, what's going on when this has happened four times now. Anyway, cats! Cat's perfect. And it smells bad. Hey, you. Very nice. Alright, well, I'm allergic to cats, but I'm gonna try not to spend too much time in here. Uh, let's see. Funeral! Uh, note that it doesn't say church, it says funeral, because... I guess when you have a hospital and a nursing home and... Everybody else is over the age of, like, 65, I guess you have a lot of those. Uh, we are suddenly Catherine. And... A decision about... Uh, uh for losing our memory, I think it, I think it was. All the cats. Alright, well, uh, we're gonna die, and none of my family will speak to me. Probably because I smell like cat, and uh, maybe they're allergic to me. And you don't know what's gonna happen to your cats. And you can give them to Grey Fox, and uh, Grey Fox will probably not do anything very nice to the cats. Uh, or you can say no, and find something else to do. Uh, which will, yeah, that's, no. That's not gonna happen. Um, those are basically like two of a, uh, one of two very bad choices. Anyway, you're here for the green funeral, and that would happen to be uh, up this way. So you can go and visit a funeral. How many video games do you get to see that? Alright, well, you can go running around and talking to people. Can you, like, play the piano over here? I've never tried this. You can. Alright, very nice. Well, unfortunately, you can only play two notes, so that's not very exciting. Alright, let's get out of there. Don't want to intrude on their funeral too often. Yeah, let's get out of there. And, uh, see, there's a few other people uh, running around here. I don't think, yeah. Okay, so I guess that's like a whatever. I don't know. I've never uh, administrated a funeral. I've only attended them, so I don't know what's uh, what they might be up to. Let's see, uh, if you walk around, let's see, down at this part of town, uh, there's another cat in front of the hospital, so you can't go in. I don't think I need any more cats. Are you sure about that? Because I think you do. Anyway, um, ow, my head. I think I'm seeing things, and... You there, Boatman! Bandana, yes. 
All right, so shipping things, but you might um, you might need to be shipping something live. Uh, Noah's Ark, I suppose. I need to get rid of some cats, but they don't have a destination. All right, cool. Uh, you could uh, find a, pl a place that uh, takes in strays, or rather, you know, a place that'll take in strays, and that is forty dollars a head. All right, well, let's see. Um, first. Before you get your uh, your cats, let's see. Do you have enough money? I want to say yeah, that should be enough. I want to say there are ten cats, maybe eleven. Um, you do keep your inventory, so oh, you can sell the gold watch too, I think, and the like diamond earring. Didn't I already sell the diamond earring? Or no, I I got the money from uh, Mabel's like wedding ring or something like that. Um, just in case, I think I can sell um this diamond earring. And you can remove it and you can get a little bit of money for that. Let's see. Is it now? 450 Cool. So that should be more than enough. Uh, so even if you don't have any other money in the game, uh, as long as you pick up the diamond earring or any of the other uh, things, uh, that should be fine um, as far as cats go. Let's see. Uh, that is a Santa Claus. Hmm. Very nice. Uh, I still don't have anything to put the cats in. I don't have any way to carry the cats. Uh, so if I recall correctly, I have to go to the grocery store, and instead of shelves, uh, there's this cat carrier. Hello, Santa. Sumo Deluxe Cat Carrier on sale for only $80. Perfect. Well, I think I might need one of those. Oh. So you're, you're not going to make this easy. Yes, let's go do that. Let's go walk straight through Santa. And let's go and, uh, pick up the carrier. $80. At least this, uh, clerk doesn't seem grumpy. They just seem like... I don't know, tired, like they've been working an 18 hour shift or something. Anyway, let's get out of there. And we can go back home. And, um... I probably could have, like, gone and done something else, like, story-wise. Oh, wait, this is the wrong place. Hello. Yes, one of your dumb cats is out again. Alright, well, we've really got to not do that. Um... Yeah, there is a point in the story that will, like, automatically send you back home that I probably could have done. Uh, so that I wouldn't have to walk all the way back here and, like, walk all the way back out, but... Uh, we're gonna pick up the cat. And we're gonna pick up that cat. Um... I don't know why, like, I have this insistence on... Uh... Saving, like, every single possible second I can. But the, the toilet is clogged with litter, so I don't want to think about that. Um... Yeah. This Catherine... No offense, but you can kind of see why- you can probably imagine why her family might not want to be talking to her. Talking to her, but anyway, um... Let's see, this is... Another cat. Another cat, and we've got all the cats. And there's a, a lot of cat food, and... Yeah, trying not to step in that. What is this? Uh... Alright, I'm not sure why that's just sitting on the ground. Then again, looking around, it probably should not surprise you. Uh, what is this hole? There's something in the hole. Oh. The kitty is gone, so I'm afraid, uh, I won't be able to, uh, collect that one. Come on, stop talking to- Thank you. I don't know why I always like getting stuck on that wall. Anyway, um, Santa Claus. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll be walking around, uh, by the, uh, pharmacist anyway. Uh, which is my next destination after talking to Noah's Ark. Oh, Boatman, yes. Let's see, uh, $400, so yes, 10 cats, uh, was the number. And there's a lot of, I like how that person, that guy just randomly turned into a boat. But, uh, he's gonna swim off, or row off, or whatever you want to call it. And that's very nice of him, to go and, uh, take care of the cats. Let's see. Yes, let's not disturb him. And did those other boats that were sitting here just, like, disappear? Because I think they did. Anyway. Uh, you there, pharmacist, prescriptions. Yes, uh, it's, um, insurance. Perfect. Alright, antipsychotic medication. And that might just take care of the, uh, Santa Clauses that are running around all over the place. And, yeah. I don't really get this part of the game. You just have to, like, feed Catherine her medicine or something. Don't ask. It's interesting, I guess. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So, we are done with that, and the medication has made you sleepy, and apparently also teleports you back home. And, let's see. Oh, there's something else that I should probably do before I forget. 
up this way. The last side quest was like Esmeralda and uh, the dog cookie and stuff. So I think. You there. I need to be standing over here because otherwise he's going to move that way. And if you're standing over here, uh, he would walk into you and you'd get stuck and the game would freeze and that's like a glitch or something. Anyway, uh, now that I mention it, now that, uh, yeah, yeah, now that I think about it, I should probably like report that to uh, the developers on the Steam community uh, forums or something, but... You there! Yes, I have heard of Esmeralda. I have a card. And she's in town. Healing stones. Scam artist. Okay. Um, I think she left. I'm not sure. You might have had to tell her that uh, she was at the inn if you wanted to get that, like, side quest achievement thing. But, nevertheless, alright. I'm glad I didn't forget that. Or at least I forgot to talk to her anyway. Let's see. Would she still be in the end? It says closed right now. I think, uh... I want to say the correct answer is telling her that she left town, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm not going to, uh, worry about that too much. You there! Yeah, I guess who it is. Uh, you should probably stop smoking one of these days. I'm not sure if it's especially good for your lungs. The crazy cat lady is just Santa Claus and she doesn't take her medication. Alright. Well, um, hmm. A long walk off a short pier. Uh, look where we happen to be. Uh, very nice. They say cats can't swim. I wonder if cat can swim. Uh, actually, I believe cats can swim uh, very well. They just don't especially like to. And... Oh. Okay, I didn't actually mean to do that, but I guess I wasn't paying attention again, and, uh... Looks like I accidentally killed Catherine. Oops. Sorry about that. You there. So! Seeing the eyes of the... You see... You have... Oh my god. You have seen the world through the eyes of four strangers. Uh, not the eyes through the world of four strangers. I'm not even sure what form that would take. But committed three murders, um, saved one person, and you don't really care. But, let's see. Uh, basically... At the end of this long and boring conversation, he's gonna tell us to, um, like, leave Grey Fox and go have a life. Anyway, uh, this is the endings, and these are the obituaries of, uh, all four people, depending on, uh, what endings you decide to take for them. If you kill one person and say one person and the other two people, it doesn't matter, uh, you will get the, uh, the okay ending, as it is. Let's see... Stop reading the newspaper, says the psychiatrist, and, uh, of course she has blue hair. Because what psychiatrist doesn't have blue hair? Or rather, a uh, RPG maker character, anyway. This is a prescription. And we're gonna come back in three weeks and stop reading the obituaries. And, uh, that is Grey Fox. That is one ending of Grey Fox, anyway. I'm going to go and save the credits, uh, for later. And instead I'm going to go and, uh, just play the other endings. Let's see, which one is this? Um, let's see, I want to say this safe follows my genocide run. Excuse me a minute. Alright, so this uh, not creepy music at all is playing, and this is the uh, the bad ending, as it was, and we are in the asylum, and it is time for our shots, and yeah, stick your arm through the slot, because yeah, alright, sounds painful. That was the bad ending. And lastly, the good ending. Alright, so that is Grey Fox. That is a kind of game, an interactive story, whatever you want to call it, I don't really care. Um, let's see, so this yes was RPG Maker VX Ace with a couple of 
add-ons and stuff. Let's see. Um, what do I think of this game? It was interesting. Uh, this is not my favorite game of all time by any means, but it was definitely not bad either. It's definitely not my least favorite game of all time. Um, if you want to have a look at it, I will have a link to the Steam store page in the description of the video. Um, it's, uh, it's rather short. I want to say if you're playing, like, efficiently and not, like, getting lost all the time like I was and having to try and record this, like, three times because, uh, I kept having problems with the recording and stuff like that and, uh, not liking my commentary or whatever, this should take you about 40 minutes to finish. Uh, so it's very short. It does have 12 Steam achievements if you're interested in farming Steam achievements, but... That's all I really have to say. I don't have anything, um, I'm not really going to do an in-depth review of this game because it's not especially long. Uh, I will say I thought the nurses segment of the story really kind of didn't fit in with the rest of them because, uh, for one, it was a lot shorter than the other segments of the story and for another, it, um, you were deciding the fate of somebody else and not the playable, uh, character, which was kind of strange, I thought. Uh, the nurse also didn't actually have a name, she just went by nurse and, well, that's a small complaint, but uh, for now, uh, that is Gray Fox. I hope you all enjoyed that. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Watch some of the stuff I have uploaded, and I will see you all later.